Cadillac's flagship CT6 sedan launched in 2016, bringing with it snazzy tech like Super Cruise and a variety of drivetrain options, including a Turbo 4, V6s, and a plug-in hybrid. Now, for 2019, it arrives with drivetrain tweaks, updated styling, tech, and a new 550 horsepower CT6 V model. No, this isn't a V model, which is a bummer, but a premium luxury trim that falls on the tamer end of the CT6 spectrum. Powering this car is the base engine, a new 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder making 237 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, which replaces the old 2-liter that made 265 horses and 295 pound-feet. So the new engine is actually down on power, but the key here is that it has a wider peak torque band between 1500 and 4000 RPMs instead of between 3000 and 4500 in the old engine. That works with a new 10-speed automatic transmission. That's all right. Shifts could be a little bit quicker and it does hunt for gear some still, but it's not a deal breaker. The EPA estimates the pair to return 24 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the highway. I'll admit I was initially worried about the Ford not being enough muscle in this, but those feelings changed after about a day. It gets off the line just fine, merges onto the expressway, and can pass cars when you pin the throttle. The engine's course well doesn't sound great, but it gets the job done. Credit that fatter peak torque band and this car's relative trim 3,800 pound curb weight. The lighter curb weight also pays dividends in the handling department. It takes corners with controlled lean and good grip on the Goodyear all-season tires. Steering is light in tour mode, heftier in sport mode, and possesses some play on center for slightly muted turn and response though. Overall, it's competent when driven hard, but is at its best cruising down the expressway, clicking off the miles with the suspension soaking up impacts. For more visual punch, all 2019 CT6s borrow styling cues from the gorgeous Escala concept for the new bumpers, grille, light housings, hood, and trunk lid. Inside, things from the design and build standpoint aren't all that different with a new shifter and trim finishes. That means some materials throughout still don't seem quite up to snuff for a luxury flagship. Though there's no denying that the cabin is spacious, comfortable, and stays quiet going down the road. Bigger changes take place on the infotainment front with the arrival of the latest Q system that uses a good looking and responsive 10.2 inch touchscreen and new rotary controller in place of the old touchpad. It's quick and intuitive to run navigation, a 34 speaker Bose Panerai audio system, Wi-Fi hotspot, and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. But for an in-depth look at all the infotainment features and the safety tech features on the CT6, make sure to take a look at our separate tech check video. With a base price of $51,500, Cadillac's updated CT6 can be a fairly attainable large luxury sedan. Of course, the price tag can climb in a hurry as you go up in trim level and throw some options at it. This car here punches in at $68,000, while the Platinum model begins at $87,000. Next to German flagships like the BMW 7 Series that begins at $84,000 and the Mercedes S-Class that starts at $91,000, the Caddy makes a strong value play. It comes with some trade-offs, but it's still an interesting value play nonetheless.